I'm artist and author Greg Long, looking through my old home videos for inspiration. Want to join me? At the bottom of a massive canyon lay an eldritch city called Shade. The notions of Shushtar lived above Shade in a tower of shining stone. Pariazar, whose name means fairy fire, looked down at the domes, spire and rooftops and wondered what the next day would bring. I find myself looking for footage to inspire my writing of the notions in their heights. Shade is roughly based on Venice, and I'd travelled to Venice with Nicole back in 1997. At one point we'd climbed the Campanelli di San Marco, or St Mark's Bell Tower, and looked down upon Venice. This is that footage, and this is how it inspires me now. From up here, the city appears a sprawling mass framed by blue waters. The Doge's palace is a bright white amidst the crowded red-browns of lesser buildings. The horizon seems grey and indistinct. Not that this will be the case in shade. I'm actually surprised by the grubby stains dripping down the domes of San Marco. There are also statues that I'd not noticed from the street level. The geometry of the Piazza is so much more obvious up here. This guy is one of the few people I can distinguish from up here, and only then because he's in the middle of the Piazza below me. Another observation is that the lanes and minor canals of Venice are really not evident from up here. Instead the buildings seem to kind of like huddle together. Happy Rob? I love this shot. The waters are so tranquil. There seems to be no wasted space either on that island if you have a look around it. Indeed, this high up, there's a complete sense of peace as if the everyday worries down there don't exist. So the people in my story would have a completely different view of the world from the city inhabitants below. As a writer I need to think about what I observe and then try to write it down in a way that makes sense to my reader. One that evokes emotions that I felt when I was in Venice myself. I'll tell you one thing though, it's a place of stories and if I can capture that then I'll be happy indeed as an author.